Hey, welcome back to NC State Dendrology. So I'm here at Fort Macon State Park um, on the Elliott Coos Nature Trail. Definitely a trail to check out, especially in the winter time um, where there's no biting insects. And I'm on the front side of that trail. The trail runs um, both on the ocean side and then also on the sound side. So I'm actually over on the ocean side um, to talk about um, Juniperus salicicola. So this is used to be a variety of Juniperus virginiana. It was Juniperus virginiana var salicicola. Um, and so this is southern red cedar instead of eastern red cedar. And this is the species that is found in the barrier islands um, in coastal North Carolina. So it looks a whole lot like um, eastern red cedar, um, but southern red cedar is a little bit smaller, right? So taxonomists have debated whether that's due to its growing conditions or whether that's um, actually part of its physiology. You can see that the, um, that the needles, it's got these little flat scaled um, leaves. So this is an evergreen tree in the Cupressaceae family and it has these, the, it, it also is dioecious, so it has separate male and female cones. Um, it's a gymnosperm and you can see the female cones, this is a female here. Um, the winter time is a really nice time to photograph it and take a video because it is loaded with um, these little blue fleshy cones and um, they're one distinctive feature of Juniperus salicicola is that these these are also quite small, so much smaller, notably smaller than Juniperus virginiana. Um, and this species is really important on um, the barrier islands. It um, definitely holds a lot of sand. It is a long-lived species. Um, the wood is very rot resistant and it's an important wildlife food, especially I've seen them loaded with cedar wax wings in the fall, um, gobbling up these blueberries. And if you crush them, um, they smell like, so um, gin is made out of um, eastern red cedar, out of juniperus. And so the berries have that very resinous smell that is reminiscent of gin. So this is juniperus salicicola, um, which grows on the outer coastal plain um, along barrier islands. And it used to be a variety of Juniperus virginiana, but has now been determined to be its own species, Juniperus salicicola or southern red cedar. And that's a wrap.